to the barn. Quite often, the barn does not have a guest, so I have to be the guest. I don't always like to be the guest for many reasons. Number one, it's sort of annoying, I think, to you, the viewer, to see an adult who simply does not bother combing his hair, for example. His grooming standards are suspect, don't you think? Anyway, be that as it may, it does serve a very useful purpose. I think, for many viewers, it's refreshing to see how much better they are than to see uh, when they compare themselves to me. And that's a good thing, really, don't you think? If I can make somebody feel good about themselves, then I've accomplished my mission, and I am eternally grateful. Now, I don't have a script today, but there are a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. Number one, I don't have a guest in the barn either. Um, so when you don't have a guest, then I have to be on camera. I don't like to be on camera for obvious reasons, uh, you know, and the hair and so forth. But that's okay. The second thing is I wanted to show you this, this jacket. This is like a fishing jacket that I've, I'm now using as a camera jacket sometimes. Um, it can carry so much stuff. Lenses and filters and cables and all this other stuff. It is really one of the most utilitarian jackets you can buy. And it's a fishing jacket, really. I love it. I don't use it very often because it sort of freaks people out. They see me wearing this thing and they think, ooh. Next thing I wanted to talk to you about is a guest that I'll be having in the barn. His name is Danny. And I happen to like Danny a lot. Danny is one of those real people that talk about things in real terms, in a language that's not necessarily your own. He's from a culture that perhaps you don't share, but he is as sincere, as honest, and as genuine as they come. Daniel will be here, and I'm hoping to introduce him to you all in a show. Well, it's not really a show, it's part of the barn, but it's a segment that I would like to call Ask Danny. Danny is one of the most knowledgeable human beings that I know. He has an awful lot of knowledge about a lot of different subjects. So I'm hoping that you will send me an email to ask Danny about any subject you wish. Now, he's not a professional in that he's not a medical doctor, he's not an accountant, he's not. But if you have a question about day-to-day -day life, the one thing I want to ask him about is collecting cars. Now, Jay Leno is a very wealthy man, so he can afford to collect any car he wishes. Danny is also a car collector and I'd like to ask him how did you become a car collector and how does an ordinary person become a car collector? Anyway, stay tuned for that. Oh, I did say, okay, one more other thing I wanted to tell you about and that is I have received an invitation to visit the Caribbean. I'm very excited about that because in going I'll be making a making a lot of videos that I'll be able to share with you. However, there are certain concerns of mine. Number one, the airfare to get there. Um, I'm, I think I'll be going sometime in July or August. So I'll be shopping for airfares from Norfolk to Kingston starting right now. I have to have the least expensive airfare because as you know, a lot of my work is supported by very kind-hearted people like yourself. The second thing I'm concerned about is funds while I'm there. Now, that's a problem. I won't have any funds. So therefore, because I won't have any money while I'm there, I'm concerned about food and shelter. Transportation is also a concern. But this is my logic. If someone in Jamaica would like me to do a video for them, which I'll do free, of course, because I consider myself very grateful that I'm able to do that. So, if I can help, I'll be more than happy to do that. So, if they want me to do a video, if they can provide the transportation of my safety, I'll be more than happy to do that. Then there is food I have to eat. And I'm hoping that <laughs> wherever I am, um, they'll provide me something to eat on a daily basis. My daily bread. And of course, there's shelter. Now, I think... I have a very, very good friend in Jamaica, a Tapioca Village Retreat, and I'm hoping that he'll be able to extend the courtesy of accommodations, and he'll be generous enough to allow me to stay there free of cost. In turn, I'll be making a lot of videos about Tapioca Village Retreat. In the meantime, if you don't know what that is, and you Google Microdac, 
Tapioca Village Retreat. You'll see the videos that I have made there before. But of course, things change, times change, and it's been quite a while since I was there. I'm sure that the area has also changed. So, those are the things that I wanted to talk to you about. And as for my hair and my tooth and whatever, my parents, hey, I'm just me, you know, I'm just me. And I'm so very grateful that you are a friend and a viewer.